Sunday. It's the start of a new week. Um, me and Tyler just got back. We had like kind of like a date day um, kind of thing because we were both off. So we like hung out, went to the mall, went out for dinner, and yeah, it was a really good day. Um, I got some things done that I needed to do. I went to Victoria's Secret, got a price adjustment, um, got twenty dollars back, and I bought Tyler a cologne with it. We went to Shields. Um, walked around, um, I went to Dillard's, I got a dress there for Generation Beauty. By the way, if you guys are gonna be at Generation Beauty, let me know. I am going to be there on Saturday in the cocktail party on Friday. It's literally in like a couple weeks, which is crazy. I'm kinda nervous, cause I just like, I don't know, I'm just like really nervous for it cause I like don't have anyone to hang out with I feel like, and I'm just like, Scared. I don't know. I just get nervous for these kind of things because I'm like super like social anxiety and I'm just like I get really scared for these things Especially when I don't really know people I'm staying with or people I'm going to hang out with or how everything's gonna turn out But I'm sure it'll be okay. Hopefully um, Yeah, so we went to Red Robin for dinner and Now we are headed home. Uh, I'm just like super tired. I like literally fell asleep on the way back home. So um, we'll probably just like hang out on the couch and watch TV shows and movies and just have a relaxing day and then get ready for the work week again this week. But just wanted to say hello. Hope you guys are having a good day. At the mall at Shields, looking at the Yeti stuff. I just went to Victoria's Secret with my price adjustment and I got a few Wednesday. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days, but I'm finally off today and right now I am <clears throat> Looking at hotels um, for Vegas Trying to find something that's cheaper. Um, me and Tyler are going to Vegas in July like for the 4th of July, which is quite a ways away yet So I'm like looking up stuff now. I don't know if it's best to book like super early or like wait a couple months but I'm not sure if like the 4th of July is a big holiday in Vegas. I don't even know. But right now I'm thinking about the Link Hotel. If you guys have stayed there, let me know. It's fairly newer and it looks really nice um, for like decently priced. And then my other option is the Flamingo. I know that one's kind of like older, but it's in a really good location. Um, it's about the same price as the link which the link just looks like really modern and stuff and um, last Time I went to Vegas. We stayed at the Monte Carlo, which was nice But that one was is a little bit more like pricey this time. I don't know why it's like a hundred dollars more um, So I don't know yet or the other one is the SLS I'm thinking about but that one's like farther away. It's like uh, it's kind of far off this trip, so I don't know if you guys have stayed in any of those Let me know if you guys have any recommendations I would love to stay at like the Venetian or Caesars Palace, but it's not really in the budget right now So if you guys have any suggestions or things to do while we're there because we're going in the summer And I haven't been there in the summer yet. Um, I when I went it was the fall So it was like not as hot out which is nice, but if you guys have like any suggestions of things to do, shows you liked, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm trying to like find more things to do because we're going, we'll be at, we're going to Garth Brooks on that Sunday, but we're going to be there Friday through Tuesday, I think, for the 4th of July. So leave your suggestions down below because I'm really excited for this vacation and I just want to like make the best of it and get good deals. So let me know your thoughts 
it's if I should book a hotel this early in advance, if it's better to wait. I don't know. Let me know. For lunch, I am having an egg salad sandwich, my fave, and I drank um, this coffee. It was a Butterfinger latte, but this is life. Yum. Just placed um, an order for my stitch fix to get here on January 21 so I can have some dresses to pick from for Los Angeles because I literally have no idea what to wear. So we'll see if stitch fix can get me anything good. They helped me last time. Last time when I went to New York for Generation Beauty, they helped me pick out a few dresses and they sent me like six of them. And I did find one that I really liked, so I'm hoping that it'll be good this time too. Also, by the way, I haven't really updated you for today, but I am testing out a foundation today. The L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation. I just like had to blot my face really bad because it was like oily, hot mess. But it's looking good again, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. But we'll have to see what my final thoughts are at the end of my video because that will probably go up either this week or next week. Um, I just edited a video tonight as well, my Target dollar spot haul. Haul? Haul? What am I saying? Haul? Um, that will be up probably tomorrow. I'm going to upload it tomorrow. <sighs> I would like to upload it tonight, but I feel like I get annoying if I upload like every day. So I won't do that. But yeah. Um, not much going on. I just bought like five Powerball tickets because that's tonight. Tyler told me to buy them. So I did and they ID'd me and I was like, okay, whatever. So I did. Um, I got five random ones. So we'll see if I'm a big billionaire. Anyways, that would be so, I think I honestly would be embarrassed to win the Powerball. Like, I don't know about you, but if I won that much money, I'd be kind of embarrassed. Slash, I wouldn't want anyone to know about it. Like, I would not tell anybody because that's weird. Just chilling on my day off, hanging out, doing YouTube stuff, watching videos, not anything super exciting. But yeah, um, I will talk to you guys later because I don't really know what to talk about. <laughs> Bye guys. Here's my dinner tonight. I'm trying a new thing where I'm gonna only eat protein and veggies for dinner every day. I don't know what I'm gonna do for lunch yet, but I meal prepped um, this for today and for tomorrow so I have grilled chicken tonight with just canned green beans the French cut style I know canned ones aren't good like aren't that great for you but I have like six cans in my pantry that I need to use up so that's what I made with some little French onions um I know it's not like the best but it's better than fast food which is what I normally eat so yeah I'm just gonna try the protein with the vegetable every night for dinner and then I don't know what I'm gonna if you guys have like any ideas or anything I'm just like horrible at cooking so I have to keep it really simple like I am such a beginner at cooking like I'm awful at it and I don't like doing it so I eat out like all the time which needs to stop like just totally needs to stop so just going to be focusing on eating better making better choices and yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. Let me know what you guys do if you guys if you guys are trying something for the new year like meal prepping and eating healthier. What is your like favorite things to make that are super easy? Let me know down below. But yeah, hopefully you guys can also keep me in track as well. I think that will help me a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and talk to you. Hey guys, so um, it is Thursday evening. I am I got off of work like an hour ago and I've just been like. So beyond stress the last couple of days, um, I don't know, I'm gonna, sh um, I'll tell you guys my little story of why I'm stressed out and what's going on just because it'll make for a good vlog, but, um, basically, I'm going to Generation Beauty in LA, it's January, it's literally like two weeks from today. I originally, like, I was like freaking out because I like, I don't, because I really wanted to go to this like I booked this trip back in like November and I like found out that they were coming to LA and I was like yes I want to go so I like <sighs> and I didn't know who to stay with because all my friends already had people to stay with and I was just like great okay but um I found some other girls in the same Facebook group that were going so I was like whatever I'll stay with them there's supposed to be like five people originally going and we were all going to share a room and like split it and it would be like super cheap so I like booked a room. They didn't charge my card or anything because you um, they charge it when you get there. So I booked it for everybody. 
thinking that everyone is going, you know, um, because that's what they said. I double checked with them. They're like, yeah, we're coming, blah, blah. One person drops out on December 12th. Someone drops out. It's like, can't go. Sorry. It's like, okay, whatever. It's fine. There's still like four people to share a room with. Next person um, decided they weren't coming on the 28th, which is about a month ahead of time. But still, they all said they were coming, and then all of a sudden they changed their mind. And so basically, there's like three of us right now. We're like, okay, like, whatever. But the main person that, the main person that actually scheduled this whole thing and like got everyone together is, it's two weeks, okay? It's two weeks of the thing. She hasn't got a plane ticket yet. And she's still like not positive that she is coming. And... The hotel has happened to her name, so even if I did go, I wouldn't be able to get in because I need her there. And I wouldn't be able to get the same price I booked it for because I need her there. And I'm the only one who booked their ticket at a, ahead of time, which is ridiculous because I was like, I'm going to be there. Like, I was planning on it, but it seems like everyone else isn't. So I was, like, stressed out because, like, no one has given me, like, a for sure answer. So I just said, screw it. I, um, one of my friends offered that I could stay with her, so that's what I'm doing. She is like the sweetest person of life, and she is a lifesaver, which she knows. Um, but otherwise, I would have just stayed by myself anyway, because I am I was gonna go, for sure. But I'm just like frustrated, because I feel like they're not understanding why I said I'm not doing this anymore, blah, 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 because they keep saying maybe. Like, I can't depend on a maybe, especially two weeks before we are supposed to put check into our hotel, you know? So, I'm not sure why I'm the bad guy here, but this is just too, too stressful that I just, I don't want to deal with it, so. But, hopefully it all works out. I mean, the most important part is I'll be going to Generation Beauty, I'm going to the cocktail party, and that's the most important part. I'll be there, I can see you guys. So, comment down below if you're gonna be there, I'm super excited to go and I'm hoping it's gonna be like have different things than the New York one had because I don't want it to be the same but still New York was fun and I had a lot of fun when I was there and I love going to New York City like it's my favorite place just because I love that I can just like walk everywhere and everything is like all the stores are next to each other but with LA you like have to take God, taxis everywhere I feel like because I feel like you have to take Ubers everywhere because everything's far apart I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I literally have nothing planned so yeah this is the longest rambling vlog ever but hopefully now that everything is kind of settled Hopefully now I can like relax and like plan some stuff I want to do while I'm there. Hey guys, happy Friday. It is the weekend. I'm working all weekend so it's not that exciting. But um, I just ran some quick errands before I had to go to work tonight. I work for to close. But I went to CVS, um, Walgreens, Target, and TJ Maxx today. So. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home, but I was looking for some of the new Physicians Formula stuff and I had to pick up some, well, I had to pick up some hair color as well for my mother-in-law. So I did that and I actually got some new stuff for myself too while I was there. But yeah, I thought I would give you guys an update. That's what I'm doing. I look like crap, so I'm getting home a little bit early so that I can like change and put makeup on because I look gross. Anyway, so yeah, um, I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. I didn't find exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for the butter bronzer from Fishes and Formula. It's like the coconut scented one, which I really want to try, but they didn't have it out yet. So, so I got a different one, but I'll show you guys when I get home. What okay I guys, I am home. I'll show you guys what I got while out and about. I don't know why, but I'm like so exhausted this week. I just feel so tired. And I don't know, I just don't have motivation to do anything this week. I really don't. I don't know what's going on, but I get like this sometimes, but hopefully it goes away soon. Let me like lay everything out for you. Oh, I went to Target and I got a little mug or a cold, I got a cold cup from Target. It, Starbucks and Target had the cute Valentine's Day tumblers. This one is like has these XOs and the pink on it, so I thought that was adorable. And then I went to 
wall I went to CVS sorry CVS to look for a physician's formula so I bought the mineral wear cushion foundation from them which is really cute packaging I got the in the super BB insta ready uh, BB cream I guess I'm gonna try that out and the super BB insta ready filter BB bronzer physician formulas bronzers are so good and then I got this Burt's Bees lipstick in blush basin which I'm excited to try so CVS was like a mess first off I don't know what happened, but I was like, oh, like the packaging, like the packaging on the boxes said $5 off instantly. And I didn't, I, and I was like, oh, like that's great. But then they didn't have the stickers on the things, which I think the boxes actually have, have a sticker on it, but people took them off and didn't buy the product. But I found a bunch of the $4 off ones on these. So I used three of the $4 offs, which is cheating, but I had to get some kind of a deal because physician's formula is expensive as hell and then also I was like oh I forgot like you didn't ask me for my points like can you add my points and he's like no I'd have to return everything so the oh wait so the guy had to like return everything and then he rung it back up and somehow like first I was charged $46 for all four of my things I was like, okay, whatever. And then I was like, oh, my points, I forgot them. And then so he had to return everything. He returned me $58, which is weird. He forgot to add the coupons, I guess. And then he, and then he gave, and then he added my stuff over again and charged me $46. So if my math is correct, I was only charged 30 something, which I don't know. This guy did not know what he was doing. And I felt really bad. I was like, oh, you can't just like add the points. He's like, no, I have to return everything. I'm just like, Oh my god, I'm that customer. I'm that annoying customer. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I got those things. I'm going to order from Ulta. They have the, they're called the Moomeru or Moolaru or something, um, butter bronzers. I'm going to order one of those because it's buy one, get one half on Ulta. And then I went to the hair place. I had to get some Matrix color for my mother-in-law, but I bought one thing for myself. I bought... I'm like completely out of hairspray, so I'm trying the Moroccan Oil Luminous Finish Hairspray from the salon store. And then one more bag to show you guys. I went to TJ Maxx like for five seconds, literally. They had a lot of good beauty stuff. I saw a Laura Geller set that had Gilded Honey in it there. So definitely check on that if you're there. Um, I bought um, four of these Ula Henriksen wipes. These are the Truth To Go wipes. These are my favorite, favorite wipes from them. And they had these travel packs. So I bought four of them. They were $2.99 a piece. Then I decided to get this from Ula Henriksen. It's the Ultimate Lift Eye Gel. I feel like my eyes just look so tired lately. I haven't been sleeping very well. I'm not sure why. But yeah, I feel like I really need this. So this was $9.99. And... Then I found a couple other products here. This is from Butter London. It's the Wink Eye Pencil in the color All Hail the Queen. This was literally $1.99. And I picked this up as well from Butter London. It's the Wink Color Mascara in Pistol Pink for $1.99 as well. So might as well try it, you know. That's everything I got today. I think I got some really good deals. Hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. Um... I am going to go get ready for work and then come home, make dinner, and just like relax, hopefully. We'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, happy Saturday. I got three new liquid lipsticks from Ofra in the mail yesterday, so I wanted to show you guys because I'm kind of obsessed with them, especially this one I'm wearing is called Staten Island. It's kind of like a gray toned nudie purple. Um, it reminds me of LA Girls Ghoulish liquid lipstick, but... It is so pretty. We also got Harlem, which is a maroon, which is kind of a maroonish brown. <clears throat> and we got Pure Black, which is the Bronx. So that's super fun. I can't wait to try those out. I'm going to be filming a What's New in Makeup video very soon on my channel. Probably Monday I might film it. Um, my hair is almost dry. I just, um, my hair's almost dry, it's kind of wet right now. I always, like, put mousse in it and, like, go out the door. I hate doing my hair, so I just don't. I like to do my makeup more than my hair. Um, so anyways, yeah. <clears throat> and my makeup is, I'm wearing very neutral makeup. Kat Von D foundation all over the face. I'm wearing 
my Lorac palette and my Physician's Formula bronzer, Mali mascara, and my It Cosmetics brow pencil. So it's basically when I'm wearing out oh, Too Faced highlight. So yeah. I'm going to head to work. Maybe talk to you guys later tonight. Hey guys, sorry my hair is a mess, but I, um, me and Tyler just got done watching um, a movie. We watched Straight Out of Compton, and it was literally so fantastic. I recommend it to everybody. But right now I'm making chocolate covered strawberries. So I have my little fondue pot and my strawberries, and here's my first one I did. Okay, I'm done. They turned out great. And they taste amazing. This is literally like my favorite snack. And I've never made them with the fondue pot before. But I'm super excited about it. So that's going to complete my vlog for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of short. But um, yeah, I just don't have a lot going on this week or next week either. But thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.